Well, City Councilor Brad Bradford ran as a top contender in a sea of 102 mayoral candidates. He took part in many of the broadcast debates with the slogan calling for less talk and more action from City Hall. Last night, Torontonians responded, giving Bradford less than 2% of the vote. Winner Olivia Chow took the win with more than 37%. Brad Bradford will return to City Hall in his role as councilor, but first, he joins us live here in studio. Thanks for joining us and Happy congrats on a hard fought campaign. Uh, obviously, um, you know, this was a this was a very tough campaign. There was a lot of candidates to choose from. Um, talk a little bit about what, what you learned uh, about the city. What did you learn about yourself going through this? Uh, what is uh, no easy feat? You know what? It was uh, something that I will always be grateful for. This was an incredible journey and having the opportunity to go out and cover all 640 square kilometers of this big, beautiful city. Those conversations with residents on the doorstep, in the backyard, on Main Street, on our transit system, telling me about their hopes and their aspirations for Toronto, but also those their concerns. I mean, it's left an impression on me and it's something I will never forget and I have more clarity going back into City Hall this morning about what the priorities are for folks and its affordability, its safety and it's getting around the city. So mission clarity on a go forward basis and I'm happy to be back to continue my work for the residents of Toronto. And I think your slogan, you know, less talk more action did resonate with a lot of people. And they want to see a lot less red tape. They want to see things moving in the city. How do you plan on getting things done uh, down at City Council with uh, Mayor elect Olivia Chow and working uh, forward to to improve a lot of the things in, in our city that quite frankly need help. Yeah, you know, the, the city feels like it's at a breaking point and Torontonians are tired of waiting. They're tired of waiting in traffic. They're tired of waiting for the Eglinton Crosstown to open. They're tired of waiting for housing that they can afford. Uh, so I've always been a collaborator. I've worked with the, the previous administration and the council on last term. I worked with the provincial government to unlock a small business sub tax class for mom and pop shops on our main streets. And I've worked with the federal government to, to unlock millions of dollars in support of housing here in Toronto. I, of course, course will work with Olivia Chow on the priorities of housing and affordability and transit and infrastructure. I suspect we'll have points of divergence because the policy approach to those things will probably be different. You know, I'm always going to be here for families and new Canadians and seniors who want to build a life here in the city and affordability is top of mind. And we have some big financial challenges on the horizon here at City Hall. So I'm happy to be in the chamber and have a seat at that table to make sure that we're moving the city in an affordable and safe way. And we're doing more and we're doing it faster because people are tired of waiting. Given the number of important issues that need to be tackled down at, at City Hall, uh, Libby Chow is saying that she's not going to use strong mayor powers. Do you think that she can get things done without implementing those powers? Well, I was very clear in the in the campaign that, you know, I would be a, a strong mayor of action because I've seen the delay. I've seen the endless the debates, the deferral, the delay that's holding this city back. And again, I, I don't think we can afford to wait any longer on those big issues. But, you know, that's a question for her. You know, she she's coming in with a mandate. She ran a great campaign and Torontonians decided that they wanted uh, you know, a departure uh, from what we were doing. They want some change. And so she'll have an opportunity to, to work with all of us to make that happen. We had a lovely phone call last night. And, uh, you know, I congratulated her uh, on her big win and, and the campaign that she ran. I think she did a great job. Uh, but now, you know, here we're back to work. And we've been opponents for the past three months. But today we're colleagues, and uh, I just think there's so much at stake here in Toronto. We have to find ways to deliver more housing that people can afford, unlock the gridlock, build the transit, and move Toronto forward. That's what I'm here for. Congrats on a hard-fought campaign. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks, Jamie.